I think Nutcracker is so popular because number one, the music. It's like this beacon of holiday cheer for us. The Christmas story and um, uh, music of Piotr Tchaikovsky. It has this very, um, very strong family vibe. Music from Tchaikovsky is iconic. Everyone knows it. I think if you hear it in a shopping mall, everyone thinks Nutcracker immediately. It's very easy to understand for like uh, young kids. I think it survives because when it first premiered, it was so relatable. Um, there, there's many different versions uh, of uh, this role, um, but in this one particularly, um, I, I find it quite magical that she all of a sudden wakes up and she's a grown uh, lady. Um, it's a quite magical transformation from like childhood to uh, becoming an adult. So that does touch me and I think it's magical for the audience as well. Um, like she's just a ball of joy. She's just this like such a good girl. She's so well behaving and she's so kind to everyone. And then it's so fun to play a character that just is this smiley, sparkly girl. And when she grows up into Sugar Plum, also Sugar Plum doesn't have like an evil side or this human side. She's just this goodness in the world. I think classical ballet is always challenging. Uh, but that's what I like about it. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, we, we do rehearse a lot, so um, I wouldn't really call, call them hurdles. It's more that like we work for everything and then um, maybe the most challenging part is actually just going on stage and trusting yourself and trusting the process and trusting your partner and just, yeah, trusting that um, everything is going to go as, as planned because we we worked for everything. So yeah, it's just giving into that moment and just giving giving your all to the audience. Nutcracker is one of the ballets for all international companies and we have done Ben Stevenson version in the past for about already 13 to 15 years and it was time to renew it, to bring the story into a little bit of a modern era too and since we're having also a highly successful Snow White and Seven Dwarves uh, by Gila Harangozo, a Hungarian choreographer, and him and his team are fabulous storytellers, entertainers. They create a ballet that is more of a, a show spectacle, and that's the reason why I chose uh, Gila, Mr. Harangozo, and his team. His uh, designer, uh, Kentaur, is Fabulous. He has done many concerts, different shows. So uh, bringing this story a little bit into the modern day era, because as the choreographer says too, originally when Nutcracker was done 150 years ago, everything that was on the stage was at people's homes. So now kids see video games, Spider-Man, robot, um, something that kids play at home and they can relate to that.
but the beautiful fairy tale story is still there. Part of the first act and the second act is the fairy tale land where Clara experiences everything like it's supposed to be. Beautiful classical dancing. It is a classical ballet after all, so we stuck to the roots. We just updated it all and it was it was time and as Mr. Harangozo says too, after some time classical ballet has to keep up with some um, modern traditions. Not all, but some. I dance already a long time. It's my long belly career, and then during of my career, I danced in four different uh, production of Nutcracker, and I danced princess, always princess. Maybe when I was young in Wagano Ballet Academy, I danced there as everything and soldiers and mouths and uh, dolls and walls, everything. And today I'm just a mirror. Joseph Mai is more like a storyteller and then as well the entertainer and with his great magic skills and um, you put on any finger and uh, it's just and then there's a, like a little little tiny strings uh, like it's connected with a king and then you like play with like a yo-yo and you just have to make opposite your body and arms and it will and I took it took for me to like uh, one month or something to master it because it's like it's very very complicated and then like I think the, the real impactful moment for the prince is that first transition because the nutcracker in the battle scene is portrayed by a student in a mask and so it's very much this nutcracker doll and then transitions in the same costume to this, the prince, this human form. And that first moment is so important when he locks eyes with Clara who was also transformed at that time that first eye contact is you just see this child, almost childish love at first sight because we're in Clara's dream and we dance the snow powder de, and that's really sort of solidifying this whimsical fantasy that she's in and then from there I interpret the role of the prince as really showing Clara the magic of the world that he's brought her into so there are a few key moments obviously that first transformation then once the snow powder has ended and the snow starts falling we show her, we show her the snowflakes, we really dictate where she looks and what she sees. It's very important in this ballet to give a lot of uh, emotion, so this very Prince vibe, this very charming energy, it's important for the audience to receive that as well. It's a very, very challenging uh, production, but uh, working with Gula was very, very 
uh, inspiring because he was able to show me how certain movements work. There are lifts I've never even done before that I had to learn for this production. I think most of the lifts in ballet, uh, of course you need strength, but you need also a very good coordination. And uh, of course at the beginning they're always a bit scary, but the more you practice, the more you find your ways to do it, they, they work, they better, they work uh, much better. I must say there, there's a very uh, hard pas de deux, it's the grand pas, uh, with a lot of like big lifts and uh, challenges. Uh, but I got lucky with my partner because she, she's amazing and uh, it's, I feel very comfortable to dance with her, so we managed to go through the whole thing. Our version is, uh, is extremely difficult and it has a lot of these very impressive like flips and lifts and jumps which are usually done by a smaller ballerina as is Clara. Like in general Clara is usually played by uh, a smaller ballerina and I am very tall. I am one of the tallest women in my company. I'm definitely the tallest principal. So to get to do these uh, these revel tods and these uh, angel lifts that are usually for smaller girls. Because I love the feeling of being in the air, it's so nice for me. My partner is also a very tall man, William, and he has been such a good partner to me that I've gotten to a point where these lifts are like, they're the most fun of the ballet. I can't wait to get to like the lifts and the spins and everything. In this uh, production, there is some uh, tricky, trickier lifts uh, as well, um, which are very exciting. Uh, but on stage, they're actually less scary than you think. I think um, we find trust with, with each other, with my partner, uh, Leonardo. And um, I know people watching might think, oh my god, that's crazy. But actually, once we're up there, we can actually stay forever. <laughs> I feel very comfortable there. Mm -hmm. 